The WFP and, the, and UNICEF issued an analysis recently on the deterioration of the nu nutrition situation in Gaza during the first 120 days of the war. Here are some of the things that they concluded. In northern Gaza, more than 90% of children aged 6 to 23 months and pregnant and breastfeeding women and girls face severe food poverty. The food they do have is of the lowest nutritional value. More than 90% of children aged 6 to 23 months and more than 95% of pregnant and breastfeeding women and girls are eating two or fewer food groups. 95% of households are limiting meals and portion sizes. 64% are only eating one meal a day. They indicated that health screenings show a rapid deterioration of the nutrition situation for children aged 6 to 23 months in northern Gaza with global acute malnutrition at over 15 percent. WHO, the World Health Organization, classifies global acute malnutrition over 15 percent as a critical emergency. And President, yesterday I began to hear reports of people who have actually starved to death in Gaza. So earlier today, I asked the head of the World Food Program, former American Ambassador Cindy McCain, about these reports. I sent her a note, text message, asking about reports that some children have now crossed the awful threshold from being on the verge of starvation to dying of starvation. She wrote back, and I quote, this is true. We are unable to get in enough food to keep people from the brink. Famine is imminent. I wish I had better news, end quote. Madam President, I want that to sink in. Kids in Gaza are now dying from the deliberate withholding of food. In addition to the horror of that news, one other thing is true. That is a war crime. It is a textbook war crime. And that makes those who orchestrate it war criminals. So now the question is, what will the United States do? What will we do? What will President Biden do? President Biden must take action in response to what is happening. First and foremost, the president must demand that the Netanyahu government immediately allow more food and water and other life-saving supplies into Gaza and make sure it reaches the children and other people who are starving, including in the north. A few weeks ago, 25 senators wrote to the president a letter outlining some of those steps. To my knowledge, none of those five steps have been implemented by the Netanyahu government. Second, unless and until the Netanyahu government allows more relief into Gaza, the President Biden needs to invoke Section 620I of the Foreign Assistance Act. Madam President, here's the exact language of that section of the Foreign Assistance Act. Quote, no assistance shall be furnished under this chapter of the Arms Export Control Act to any country when it is made, no, made known to the President that the government of such country prohibits or otherwise restricts directly or indirectly the transport or delivery of United States humanitarian assistance. Now, about three weeks ago, I asked senior State Department officials to tell me why this law, Section 628I of the Foreign Assistance Act, has not been applied 
tell me how it's not the case that Prime Minister Netanyahu is not restricting directly or indirectly the transport or delivery of United States humanitarian assistance when we have the humanitarian horror show that I just mentioned. Well, I haven't gotten an answer to the question I posed about three weeks ago. And the answer, Madam President, is there is no good answer to that question. 